Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can open up RAR files on macOS. So as you can see I have a RAR file here on my desktop that's .rar and this is essentially a zipped file that I need to unzip but there's no native way to do that on Mac. If I double click on this file you'll notice that it's kind of trying to open it up in VLC Media Player which you know wouldn't be the right application for this type of file anyways. So I'm going to show you two different methods. I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way with an application and then I'm going to show you how to do it via terminal using Homebrew. So let's head on over to the App Store and go ahead and get the application that we want to unzip this RAR file. The application is called the Unarchiver and you'll notice that as I just type the it's one of the top things that shows up because this has been the go-to free app for unzipping files for Mac for a long time now. It's free, it's safe, it's been used for a long time. So you'll notice that I already have it installed so I can just click to open it, but you might have to get it so you can, you know, go through that process of getting it and installing it. And then when you open it up, it opens up right to the preferences and asks you which type of archives and files you'd like to open using the Unarchiver. So by default, it has zip archives, uh, the LHA, ZipX, and Stuff It archives. However, we want to make sure that we have RAR selected as well. So you'll notice that we get a pop-up, and this essentially tells us that in order to make this change, we need to do it at the Mac OS level and not via the Unarchiver preferences. So we'll click OK, and we'll go ahead, and we can just minimize the App Store. We want to take our RAR file, we want to right-click on it, and then we're going to go to Get Info. And you'll notice that when get info pops up, we have this section that says open with. So in this section right now, it says VLC. So let's go ahead and let's click and let's change that to the unarchiver. We also want to make it so that any rare file will be opened with the unarchiver. So we'll go ahead and click on change all. Then we'll click on continue. So now any rare file that we have on our computer, by default, it will open with the unarchiver. Let's see if we can tick that preference on. And actually, just going into the preferences, you'll notice that it is now ticked. So if we try to open this file on our desktop, you'll notice that now we get a different window. It's not trying to open up VLC Media Player. It's asking us where we want to extract the contents. So we can just go ahead and extract them to our desktop. So we get a little message saying that our file has been extracted. We can close that out. And you'll notice that we now have a folder on our desktop and this was the uh, contents of the folder that we had zipped up in rare format. Um, so that is how we can do it using the unarchiver. And quite honestly, uh, that is the easiest way to do it. That's how I would do it. But I do want to show you how to also do it in terminal since I think some of you may be interested to see that. So I'm actually going to delete this folder, command delete, and then I'm going to command shift delete to empty the trash just to prove that we don't have that unzipped version and we're going to do it using terminal. So I'm just going to use Spotlight and I'm going to open up Terminal. And then I'm just going to paste the command line from the Homebrew website, which I'll post a link in the description of this video to. Uh, it changes from time to time, so you don't have to just necessarily type it as you see in my video here, uh, but just get it from the Homebrew website. And then we will hit Enter to install Homebrew. We need to enter our password. And then hit Enter to continue. Now I want to mention that sometimes while you're installing Homebrew, there are some permissions that need to be changed on your computer, and it will tell you the command line that you need to enter to change those permissions. So you may have to copy and paste a little bit in Terminal. And then you also may get to the point where you see on my screen right now where it says downloading and installing Homebrew, and it just says head is now at, you know, merge pull request, blah, blah, blah. Like, what's going on here? It's still going. So it takes a little bit of time, uh, and you just have to wait. I'm going to fast forward in the video, uh, but, uh, just be patient at this step right here. So you can see it just now completed. It says installation successful. I'd say that took a good three to five minutes really. Uh, so just be patient at that step. So now that we have Homebrew installed, we need to install the unarchiving component. And the command for that is just brew space install and then UNAR on R and then hit enter. So you'll notice that as I explained during the installation of Homebrew, we had some permission issues. We also having some permission issues installing the unr component. So what we'll do is we will just copy the code that we have in terminal right here, and then we'll paste it in and hit enter, enter our password, and then we'll try and run the install command again. So brew install unr 
enter. Okay, so you can see that it has now completed. So in order to unarchive our file, we need to first enter one more command here into terminal, and that's just unar, so U-N-A-R, hit space, and then we will grab the file on our desktop and we'll drag it here into terminal to give it the path that we want to unarchive, and then we'll hit enter. Okay, so when you extract files using this method in terminal, they don't go to your desktop. You can see in terminal is telling us it's completed. So what we need to do is we need to go and find it. And so I'm just going to click on my desktop to get into Finder here, and I'm going to go to Go. I'm just going to go to the Home section. And then you'll notice that right here in my Home folder, I have this folder right here called Example. And we have the two other folders that we saw earlier. So this is the exact same folder that we extracted using the Unarchiver, but we've now extracted it using Terminal. So I've shown you the two primary methods of extracting rare files on Mac OS. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.